All right, you guys, what's going on? Thanks for clicking on the uncensored version. This is the first bear you will have ever seen me clear, clean. Using, this is a silver stag. It's one of my crown gut hooks. Really nice, big, heavy blade for cleaning an animal like a bear. Whenever I was a kid, my dad owns a bobcat company, Walt's Bobcat. And as a kid, me and my brothers, anytime people would come over with a deer or if we killed a hog or deer or anything, we would grab dad's bobcat, hang them up, and clean them. So whenever I came here, trying to figure out where I wanted to clean this bear, saw the skid steer, I was like, oh my gosh, perfect. Just like I was a kid again. Let's get to work, man. It's gonna be just like any other animal. We're gonna start up here at the, at the hind legs, and then we'll come down here to the, the, uh, the paws in the very bottom. I'm so excited to clean this bear because as soon as I get him clean, I am gonna start cooking. Take that gut hook, get it in there. Try your best to roll that hide so you're not cutting tons of hair into your meat. The key with bears and wild hogs, anything like that, if you're looking to have good food, try your best to get as little of the hair as you can on the meat. That hair is nasty. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I'm really trying to concentrate here. This hair is so long and fuzzy. I'm trying my best not to get too much of it on the meat. You should not be sawing with your knife. You, your knife should be sharp and it should just do the work for you and let that, let that meat just start peeling right off. And then you're just gonna keep working your way right down this leg, right there. That's why I, that's why I've rung around the, the ankle first. It's always nice having a buddy that runs your camera and help you hold an animal's leg. Just, you know, multifaceted, does everything. There you have it, y'all. So it's time to start quartering them out. Just like any other four-legged animal, we're gonna go ahead and cut this shoulder off. I mean, their shoulders are so tough. Now what we're doing, as we quarter them out, we've got three tags. One is for the hide, one is for the meat, and one is for the head. There's three tags that all represent the same animal, so there's no discrepancies. Tons of meat on this rascal. 
Now, if you wonder, we have the bucket lock on this thing so I can sit here and not worry about it falling down. We're gonna come right in here to the spine and make a straight cut all the way down. This bear is noticeably, noticeably uh, tougher than a deer or a hog or anything like that. I mean, they are put together like a Sherman tank. But all the same mechanics apply to cutting out a back strap or anything else. Very dark, rich meat. I've eaten bear a few times and each time I've really enjoyed the flavor of it. Because it's a predator, they recommend cooking it through. Beautiful. Now, we're gonna be cooking this in just a little bit. So I'm gonna leave the back straps right there. Same thing as on the other side. There you go. But on these, just like deer hog, I always come over here and thumb just to cut that meat right away. Most people would never do this with their knife, but these silver stags are just epic knives. Same thing on this side. That's a combo pack, that's the Skinner, the gut hook Skinner. That's the bone and knife. Instead of keeping this quarter whole, I'm gonna just bone it out while it's hanging there. There you go, same thing. You'll see that, you'll see that uh, little crease right there. Follow that right down. There you go. Oh, that's nice. Man, that muscle feels. Woo, drop a thumbs up if you think I should make a roast out of that tonight. Oh my goodness. And you can just see, God gives you little uh, f uh, little edges to follow. And it's called seams, seam of a muscle. There you go. You can take this, throw it in a, in a slow cooker. You can do whatever you want with it. It'd be delicious. A lot of people marinate bear meat because they say it has a little bit stronger of a flavor, but 
I, I enjoy that flavor. It's like I'm eating wild game. I want to taste it. Came apart nicely. This up here, if you were going to make ground meat, I would suggest taking this meat and turning it into sausage or some type of you know, ground meat. Just like that, we're done. It wasn't difficult. It was very similar to cleaning a hog or a deer, just real sturdy, like all his joints were super, super tough to get through. But um, they have a lot of dexterity, so their joints are very, very functional. But uh, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please drop a thumbs up below, leave a comment, let me know what you think. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. This is a life we live, it's not something that we do. And uh, for that, I say thank you for being a part of it. I love you guys, take care, God bless, and we are gone!